Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper, and besides me here is my DJI Action 3 camera that I've been using for quite a while, and what I'm actually filming on is the new Action 4. Now, what we are going to do today is I am going to film myself filming the last video you saw of the big bolt threading uh, with the follow rest using the Action 3. Um, we're going to film that video film me filming it with the Action 4 and then show you all the, the camera setup, everything I go through and some of the editing um, and kind of give you a behind the scenes look at what it really takes to put together one of these videos. So setting up my camera angles is about the most, one of the most difficult things because you're back and forth just trying to get your angle just right and I think we got her. We'll see how many takes this takes. Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. In today's video, we are gonna thread some big bolts. I've got some two inch bolts, or two inch round stock to turn into uh, rock crusher bolts. And we're gonna be threading a two inch, four and a half pitch by 24 inch long on one end, and then two inch eight by four and a half inches on the other end. So let's get started. Okay, I've got you guys set up on the boring mill table. I'm gonna go ahead and just do high speed video now and uh, voiceover kind of give you, let you see how much I'm moving this camera around and what it's really taking. This is, this is something the way I do these, that's why my videos take so long to put together when I'm doing them. Um, I always said a 20 minute job takes about six hours when I'm doing the video on it. So you'll probably see why now. Okay, so here we go. This is actually, this is a customer bringing me over more work um, that he was just in here. And uh, as you can see, I moved that camera a lot. Um, just in the first little bit here, I moved it quite a bit for the different setups, different angles. And I feel that multiple angles in a video is, is extremely important. Um, multiple different shots, trying to not be all at one focal point just just continually moving the camera getting better angles different angles um, I, I've shown things that I would have never saw um, without the camera uh, myself I mean just watching my videos as I'm editing them later I see potential problems or things I need to fix or you know things like that so um, just by moving the camera into different places and different positions I've really improved my processes by you know just seeing those things that I wouldn't normally see myself. So uh, here we're going to start on the the first thread, the eight tooth branch. Um, you can see I went handheld there, uh, set up the camera a couple times, you know, multiple locations. So lots to this um, and I hope you enjoy that, that the fact that I'm doing all this extra work. Um, it, I think it adds to the videos and improves the quality significantly. So I'm going to stop talking here because I'm just rambling, but uh, I'll throw in some, some decent music in these speed, sped up scenes, um, and then uh, we'll get through this and come to the editing. I hope you guys are all following this okay. Um, I, I, this is something new I wanted to try, just kind of show how things are going. Um, I've been at this a little over an hour now, um, and we're finally to the big thread. The, the small thread was pretty easy. Um, straightforward for me, I mean, no big deal. This thread's pretty easy too, but 
seeing all those camera angles, there's a lot of movement done to set up these videos. Now, I'm hoping you're enjoying this. Oh, the joys of filming. The battery just went dead on you guys. I heard it behind me, so I quickly changed your battery, which I already did earlier on the other camera. Um, go through quite a few batteries doing this stuff. So these final shots are always kind of a pain to get set up, but I think we got her. That'll work. And now we'll get the final take set up. Get the camera where I want it. And hopefully this works out and I don't have to do it in four or five or seven takes. Um, Cause that happens quite often. And my angle looks good. Well, there you have it. We fixed, did that. Ugh. See, screwed up. Well, there you have it. We threaded that two inch rod to a four and a half pitch, two feet long using the lion lathe and the follow rest. Um, this is something I did about a year ago for this customer for the first time. And, and uh, they're now a repeat customer because I was able to do this. There's a lot of torque transmitted into them, them uh, rods when you're cutting deep, big threads like that. So you gotta be mindful of your tool moving um, or it shoving in the jaws. Uh, that's, that's a common problem. So. With that, we'll end here. Until next time, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time. Well, I'd say that came out well.
Now we'll get upstairs and uh, start uploading the files and start on the editing. All right, well, this is my office. It's kind of a disaster area. A lot going on in here lately. Uh, but we'll plug the camera in and start the file transfer. All right, well, this is going to take a while. Um, well, it says 21 minutes. That ain't too bad. So as you can see, we've had some major changes here in the shop since uh, I uploaded the videos to my computer. Um, for one, you can see that we got two monitors now, big monitors, um, but the other is my office. My office has definitely changed. Um, we took my old office out and uh, turned that into more storage space, um, and this whole upstairs of the shop here was an apartment back in the day. Um, before we built the house and now it's been just pretty much dismantled as that. It's storage area, office space, that kind of stuff. Um, but this room here used to be my bedroom back in the day. So um, I decided to clean it out, organize, put in cabinets, build the new desk. Everything is in here, all of everything, which is really nice. It's all accessible. Um, where the camera is right now is file cabinets. I can easily get over to those. I got more file cabinets over here with all of my uh, EMD locomotive stuff. Um, so it's really accessible for me. Um, the cabinets have really helped out, keeps the dust off of stuff. So very nice addition. Um, so let's go ahead and let's get on, started on the editing here. All right, well, let's start up the CyberLink Power Director. And the reason I went to two screens is because I can split up the power director and make it easier for editing. Um, the big screens really help. And once we get it loaded up here, actually, I think I know what's going on here. There we go. And now we'll import media folder. Actually, not that one. We are doing long threading. Behind the scenes is this video we're working on now. So bring that in. Oh, I don't care about what's new. All right, so here's where we're gonna start. What I do is I take, come on, a batch. Oh, that's not how I do it. There we go and bring the whole batch down to start with. And then we'll start the editing. All right, so that's where I start talking. So I gotta click back. I need to up the volume so I can even hear myself. <laughs> Hello, welcome to talk. Okay, that wasn't great. Let's try that. Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. Perfect. I'm Josh Topper. Today's video, we are going to by 24 inch long on one end and then 2 inch 8 by 4.5 inches on the other end. So oh. let's get started. All right, that's our first, first clip edited. And now the fun part is I come over to this screen. And we'll start the full video. And of course, I missed it. Come on. All right, now I need to skip ahead a couple seconds. And then I can come over here and put in my. Title board. And now come back over to this screen and hey, I'm Josh Topper. Today's video we are going to thread some big bolts. I've got some 2 inch bolts. There we go. Round stock to turn into. And now that scene is done. We'll go on to the next one. And I don't know if you could see it there. Um, I'll probably bring the camera in so we can do a little more work with that, but there is where the audio actually starts. You can so kind of see it. Bolts. And that wasn't good. So these are the bolts that I already done. There we and go. Drilled and then, uh, start threading. 
All right, that scene is done. Now, what I was commenting on was the audio here. You can see the audio track, and that kind of gives me an idea where to start and stop each vid, uh, scene editing, so I could theoretically skip ahead to here, go into the editing, and, uh, yeah, I went to the audio, but I was, wasn't ready there. I was just setting up, so now i got to wait for myself to get there. And I think we'll actually start back here a little bit. That's a good scene right there. Of course, this computer is slow. Even for being as powerful as it is, it's quite slow. So now, I gotta skip ahead there, came out. So let's, right there, see where that looks. Perfect. So just as you can see from the first few scenes, um, this is quite involved. Uh, getting everything clipped just where I want it, how I want it, um, and it, it's very time consuming. This, this video, um, let me just quick check here. I have 78 different video clips, different scenes that I'm working with. Um, some of them will get multi-trims where I'll trim it multiple times. Um, for different clips throughout the scene. Some will um, just get shortened up, however I do that. Uh, but this is a very time consuming pro process. Um, I'll probably have about three or four hours into the editing of this one, if not more. Um, Cause once I get everything edited how I want it, then I gotta go back through and watch it again and clip out more that I think is just kind of a waste. So this is, this is really a time consuming project and uh, so I'm going to keep working on the editing, and then I will, um, when I get to something that's a little different, I'll show you that. Okay, so I mentioned multi-trim, and this is my what I'm doing here. I'm cutting this little segment, this little segment, this little segment, and I'm going to skip ahead here. We're going to put this little bit in there. We'll skip ahead. I want to get the landing of the steady rest there. And then I think we'll call that good. Now that comes out as, that'll come out as this. Let's start back here. Uh, I gotta move you over to the other screen so you can actually watch that in its full glory. <laughs> when it loads, of course it's not happy, being slow. A big deal. And there it is, just like that. But I did notice something there. And I gotta go back and fix that. It's right here. Come on. I said this is not a fast thing. See how I walked to the camera. Now I want to get that out of there. So I'm going to come back over here. <laughs> oh, the joys of video editing. And see if I can't get that out of there. But not a big, big deal. Uh, yeah, I got to cut out my me saying not a big deal because I didn't think when I was doing this. So let's just cut that back a little. Add a little time to the job, but. Yeah, we'll cut it right there. Now I get to come back here, put a marker. And now we should be good. Fortunately, that's gonna add a little time to the job, but not a big deal. That should have took care of it. Let's check it here. So back over to the other screen. It's going to add a little time to the job. There, that got rid of that. Kind of cleaned it up a little bit. Um, so that's a lot of what I'm doing here is just cleaning up and trying to make it a little better. So I know this probably isn't the most exciting of videos, um, 
but I'm going to keep going on the editing. And like I said, I'll show you anything that's kind of interesting. We'll get to the end of it. Um, I started this about, about 11.15 today. So let's see what time we actually get this done. Uh, sometimes the editing goes so smooth and it really flies by and sometimes it just drags on and on and on. So I'll uh, keep working on it and we'll finish up the video once I get through everything and ready to publish. Okay, here's another aspect of doing the videos is the thumbnail and I usually capture them right off of the video. I picked a spot here, we got a nice view of the thread, we got the steady or the follow rest, you got a nice chip coming off. I'm going to capture this one and we will save that to our file here and we will come back to that when, when the time is right. Okay, so I've gone through, I got all my editing done. Um, this is a very long video. Um, even with all my trimming, what I took out, what I wanted to take out, uh, we are at just short of 44 minutes, actually, uh, 44.08. So 44 minutes and eight seconds. Now, what I need to do here is add my little, you know, please subscribe thing every so often. Because, you know, the, these videos take a lot of work and I, you know, having the subscribers, getting you guys to watch, this is a big thing. This is very important. Um, and it's it helps a lot with the, you know, gets people to click on it, which is good. Um, I used to, there's my please subscribe. I used to add both the PayPal donations and the, um, well, what is it? PayPal donations and uh, my merchandise uh, links. Um, a lot of people brought some exception to the PayPal donation thing. And like I said, there's a lot of work that goes into these, a lot of time that goes into these. Um, I'm on two and a half hours right now just to get to this point. Um, so I have been doing channel memberships. Please, please, please look into doing the channel memberships. Um, it's, it's, you're going to get some pretty cool perks with that. Um, uh, but we'll go ahead and we'll just keep finishing out here and then we'll start the rendering. All right, so I've gone all through. We're gonna click export up here, and uh, this will save all the temporary files. Um, out of those 70, I think it was 78 clips, I used probably close to 74 of them, but then I did lots of cuts, so we're, we're well over 100 clips in total just for this video. Um, so a lot of work into it so far. And once it opens up the produce page, And I got all of my settings right. I just changed the video name. Uh, long threading. And we start the production phase of this. Now this is a time consuming thing. This takes um, time remaining, hour and a little over an hour to, to render this into a full video. So while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and open up the photo director, which is um, the program I use to make the, the um, thumbnail. And that'll come up on my other screen over here when it gets there. Create an empty project. Oh, come on, I don't care about all your updates. Uh, long threading. Change the aspect ratio. Remember, I, I hate computers. Absolutely hate them. And uh, I've gotten pretty good at doing this. Add a folder, photo layer from folder. I'll go back over here, clips to edit, long threading. Now I had picked a second snapshot and I kind of like the second one. Um, even though it's not the best, I'll bring you over. Um, but I can change that a little bit, lighten it up, crispen it up some, but I think this will be a good thumbnail. So I've already adjusted my brightness, my clarity. Um, bump that up just a little more. And then sharpness, we're going to sharpen that image. That comes out pretty clear. Now, this is a good segment here. We can do text 
all through here if we need, kind of hide the background, but the main focus is here, the follow rest, the long thread. So we'll go ahead and get out of there and then get my colors right. get this all to fit. Might have just a few things. Actually that looks good. And we'll take this. And I think I'm gonna rotate that and put you, whoops, come on. Put you right there. Maybe I'll knock that down a little bit in size so it fits a little better and actually I might change that angle a little more. There. Now the last thing I always do, well one of the last things, I always look at it in a smaller size. See how it looks because you're always looking at this stuff either on your phone or and see, that's that's hard to see when it's that size, um, but I think that's pretty good. I don't know what I could do to sharpen that image anymore, but um, that that we're going to run with. So that is our um, thumbnail for this video. And actually, there is one thing I can do. Let's uh, bring this back up. Let's adjust. Uh, actually, let's do this. We'll adjust this layer. We'll just make it a little bigger. And actually that's helping. Now we'll just change change actually we'll go back do this Take this guy and move it. Move it over here. That I think looks a little better. Now we'll take a look at that in a smaller size. That does look a lot better. So we'll probably go ahead. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back over and I'm going to adjust that background just a little bit more. Let's brighten it up some more. And adjust our contrast just a little. See if we can't fix that. Sharpen it just a little more. And it looks kind of crappy at this scale. Fairly large, but let's take it now, drop it down to the smaller size. That's a little bit more crisp. Um, even down at the smaller size yet, it's a lot, a lot better. So I think we're going to run with that. In fact, what we're going to do, we're going to do one more thing. We're going to do one more text here. Oops. We'll throw this in there. Change the size. Uh, let's increase my border to make that a little bit more pronounced. And we'll add, let's see if I can remember where it is, the little pointer. There we go. And I think we will work with that. So the, the thumbnail does go pretty quick. It, it's still a lot of work, but um, 
you know, we got all the information on there we need. It doesn't look too bad. I'm going to run with that. So I'll bring that back up. We'll export that. Put that in the file cover. And that is done. Now we're over back over here just waiting for this to render. Um, we're only seven minutes into that 44 minute video of rendering. So once that's done, then we'll go over and start the upload process. Here, until next time, get out in your shop and you get it done right the first time. All right, well, the video came out pretty good. Um, there's a lot I could have cut out of that video, that this video here, um, but Quite honestly, you got two feet of thread. I mean, that's a, that's a lot of film you're taking up. So I, I feel like I, if I would have cut out a lot of that, it would have probably lost its point. So now we'll go ahead and we'll uh, start uploading this to uh, YouTube. So we'll get over here, our YouTube studio. And we come over here to create, upload video. And now we just select the file. And we got to go over here to videos, videos, long threading. And wait for it to bring it up. And we'll have to give this thing a title. So, twenty four inches of two inch dash four. One half TPI with I think that'll get the point across. I might change that a little later on, but um, I'll change the video description here in a while. We'll go ahead and um, go over here, pictures, cover single point threading select we're gonna put this in the 2024 videos machine shop videos and I think that might be it for folders and then show more we can uh, let's see there's no paid promotion in this one and we can add a bunch of keyword tags uh, video location Right there and I'll probably come back and change a few things here but I'll go on to the next monetization and I don't make a lot on this stuff that's that's kind of why we push for the memberships and the PayPal donation this is the page where it tells you asks you if everything is okay for ads safe for ads no swearing no you know death destruction any of that crap next then I can tag products, add an end screen, all that fun stuff. I will do that later. Um, it's working on that. Or you're going to set this members only. And then select the date to make it public. Oh, got to do that. And that will be on the 13th at 6 a.m. and we schedule that checks okay it's uploading one percent done this this is gonna take a long time due to my really bad internet service here well there you have it um, we are finally at the stage of uploading we're at two percent um, this is going to take a long time. My internet service here is horrible. Um, we're a step above dial-up, and it's about the best I can get. I've looked into other options, and it's just, uh, we're kind of stuck right now. Um, so we're, we're, we're working on some other options eventually, but um, this is the best we got, and this is time-consuming, and is what it is. Um, I hope this gave you some insight into what it really takes to make these videos. Uh, that job, which would probably have taken me, you know, an hour at most, 
was I think I had two and a half hours into it with setting up the camera and all the angles and everything. Um, and then there was some pre-planning that went into it, um, you know, and all that. And then the video editing. As of right now, we are four and a half, almost five hours into this, into the, the editing process um, to get to the upload process. Now, I still have some work to do with the upload as far as the video description, um, the tags, that stuff. I just kind of rushed through that, but uh, there's a lot to this. And I hope this video will give you a little better appreciation of what what it takes to, to put together a good YouTube video and what everybody that's putting videos on YouTube of, of better quality is going through. Uh, there, there's quite a lot to this whole, this whole process. So again, I really appreciate everybody sticking with me. Um, please check out the channel memberships, um, you know, that stuff, it, it does help. I mean, there's a lot of time invested here that's lost um, with, on time that could have been spent in the shop doing paying jobs or um, time I could have spent with my family and doing things other than just this editing. So please, you know, help support the channel. Uh, I would really appreciate that. And until next time, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time.